Building an e-commerce store is no stress. It's all the little things on the side that amount to this mountain of chaos that make making your first sale very difficult. In this video, I'm gonna go through three primary steps of how to get that first sale. I think it's pretty informative. I hope you like it. Let's go. Today, we're just gonna be looking at my store, Fern City. We're gonna be going through the landing page, the product, the copy, and the imagery, and how the customer is supposed to interact with my brand. Feel free to jump on a Fern City or Fern City at Instagram, and you can follow along in your own time and try and learn things from the mistakes that I've already made. This is a Shopify case study. I don't use WooCommerce or BigCommerce. I'm only really a fan of one commerce, and that's uh, the shop, if I. Yeah, <laughs> boy. So of course, on top of those first primary steps, there's a whole bunch of other things like remarketing to customers that are loyal to you, maintaining good supplier discipline and a good relationship in terms of communication, finding a good winning product and one that sustains you throughout all of the quarters of the year. And of course, even long-term thinking like 10 years ahead, are you gonna still be selling the same thing? Probably not. So we're trying to build a brand here, not just a one product winning store that kills Q4, earns you a bunch of revenue, and then you just kind of like, what do you do, flatline? I don't know what you do after that. You take in a bunch of cash and run away and hide in the Bahamas. There's also a bunch of different sales channels that I won't be talking about in this video. So if you wanna learn more, check out my product research playlist. That's my favorite one. And of course, Shopify marketing, Facebook, and um, the winning products and all the other jazz right here. Okay, so let's get into it. My winning product that I will reveal right now is just under the desk. Winning products, guys, winning products. You might have heard me talk about this already on this channel. This is the Bees Wrap that I've been selling. A New Zealand brand made in New Zealand, locally owned, didn't import this from AliExpress. Let's get you an open one. Okay, so a little product demonstration for you here. So, half an onion that I had for lunch. Pop it in here into the Bees Wrap cotton. You just fold it up nice and tight and throw it in your fridge. This thing lasts 500 times longer than plastic wrap. Sometimes even more than that because people just throw away plastic wrap that they don't even use. So you can quantify it that way. This little bad boy will last you many years if you take care of it. I know people that have had them for a couple of years and I actually sell a pack of three. So you've just got so much space to keep your leftovers in. I really like the sustainability element. I like the eco-friendly element and I like the practical element. This is a use item that everybody needs. We all eat food and we all want to save food. We don't want to throw food in the bin because it's gone rotten. We want to keep things fresh. So that's the winning product. I will explain later how I came across that winning product. Um, but right now, let's just jump into the screen capture. I'm going to show you the store itself. Okay, so this is Fern City and straight away, once I start analyzing it through the YouTube eyes, I see a couple of mistakes here. Bad, 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 bad. I didn't realize it could be this bad. I can't use that menu um, until I scroll down. Anyway, as we start off, we have a nice little graphic here. We save all food. Your tools deserve the same treatment. And then we just have some benefits here. Long life guarantee, handmade New Zealand, no harmful chemicals, and it's waterproof. And then we have a nice photo here of Lily B Wrap, because that's my supplier right there, Lily B Wrap. I didn't make these myself. She makes these straight out of Hawke's Bay, which is just down the road from me in New Zealand. And we have a big product image, which you can click through and go to the product page. We'll get back to the landing page in a sec, and we will just check out the main flagship product of Fern City. If you change this, obviously you get the different types of variant. This sounds real basic, but the amount of subscriber stores I review where this doesn't, where this function isn't even working, you definitely want to like line these up and just make it easy for people. This is the truth right here. 17 left in stock. I only have 17. Try to be honest with people. Um, however, this sale is a bit of a gimmick, <laughs> but it does draw people in. We have a quantity upsell here that just shows that if people get two, then they save 15%. Nice big black and white ad to cart, making it easy to see. And then we have all of these. Obviously you can't buy things in VeChain yet. Maybe one day you will. And we have a bit of copy, a similar graphic to before, but with Monsteras and the teal instead of the orange. Straight away, I just showcase a set of three large wrap, medium wrap, small wrap, and then I display it here. And then I give the actual log line keeps food fresh, cover an avocado sandwich or carrot, 
with our reusable breathable wraps to keep them safe, clean, and crisp. They also smell damn good. I say here for a disclaimer, wraps can last 120 to 150 uses. But in future, I'm hoping to just make a video where I describe what a use case really is, because I, I believe that these could probably last a thousand uses. It just depends how tough you are on them. I actually going through and being self-critical while I'm recording this, I think I have too much coffee, but I'm really just covering my bases. It's a nice long funnel. And hopefully by the end of it, people will either hit this button. A lot of you guys on the YouTube channel have asked about one product store versus a niche store. I kind of go somewhere in the middle. I only have five products on here. I like to keep things really simple and accessible. These are all in the same sort of home and kitchen niche. So cleaning, bathroom and food cleaning. And then of course we have the bees wraps, which is like food safety. We also have a video at the beginning, which I just filmed right behind me on that table. This doesn't involve a CTA because it's already on my website. This is the only place it would be displayed. It's just for functionality, just to showcase exactly how it works. Pretty self-explanatory. It is just a function of keeping an onion well kept. Okay, so in terms of how I found this winning product, a bit of a long story. Some of you guys who have subscribed to the channel probably already know that just at the beginning of this year and last year, uh, I live with my girlfriend in Massachusetts. I live just down the road from her and her four flatmates. And I discovered that they were using this cotton bag that was made out of bees wrap. They just threw absolutely everything in there. You know, onions, tomatoes, avocados, um, cheeses, sandwiches. They would take it with them on picnics and it would stay in their fridge. They didn't even really clean it that often. I was surprised at how tough and sturdy it was. If it occasionally got a bit too much cheese on it, you could just brush it off. It was so easy to use and I was like so shocked. I bought some of it for my girlfriend's mom's birthday, and then I had one of my own and I started to analyze it. That first one I bought was from B Wrap in Vermont, just up the road. I think these guys were the originals and I started to study all of their creatives. The one creative that stood out to me was this brilliantly beautiful brand video where they took you through the factory where it was made they showed you all of the ethically harvested bees wax and they showcased all of their lovely happy workers and they demonstrated the product on food and people. I was like, I'm going to do that. This is genius. Let's go. It took me a few months of trial and error because I tried AliExpress suppliers. I took three suppliers on AliExpress to realize that this is just not going to work. It took way too long to get here and some of them just didn't even show up. Like I bought five wraps that just never made it to my house and I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> okay, no worries. So I found a local New Zealand supplier, Lily B Wraps, just down in Hawke's Bay. And I was like, let's do it. Let's go. I'm going to get 15 off you. And then once I've sold all those, I'll buy more. And then once I've sold all those, I'll buy more. It's money going up, but we only going up. Money, right? Fulfilling them right here from inside my house. Thought it was nice and easy. Just been putting it in compostable bags uh, with even compostable shipping labels to keep that eco-friendly vibe going. So I think there's something to be said here for product research. So many people are like, this is the tool you should use. This is the tool you should use. You should, you know, go on AliExpress, Alibaba, do what you want on the internet. But I think that there's something to be said for asking people around you what they find most useful. I didn't even ask. I just observed my friends using it in their kitchen. And I was like, that is so useful. Everybody uses it every single day. I'm going to sell that. So try and think like that when you're looking for products. Don't be so zeroed in on the computer have a look outside and have a look at what you can learn. Gary Ben Savanga said that the best thing to sell is something that you would sell to your friends and your family, those closest to you in your life, because it would happen so naturally. You wouldn't have to, you know, grind yourself up and sell this damn stupid toothbrush. You could just get out there and sell the thing that you really know and love. For me, that would probably be bicycles or books, but I'm not there yet. I'm just selling a little bees wrap. In Gary's day, you'd have to be a copywriter that got assigned to your favorite products. Now, as an e-commerce owner, you can just go and get those products that you want to sell. Then you can lean into that interest and find it easier to get up every day and do that selling. If it was something that you didn't want to sell, it would find, you would find it very hard to get in front of that laptop and sell the stupid toothbrush. That being said, toothbrushes are actually pretty useful. Okay, and now we'll have a look at some Instagram influencers. So if we go back out of that product page, back into that featured image, we can keep scrolling down the landing page. The next thing that you see if you don't click on that product is take your pick, the large single versus the three wraps. 
Of course, this is the premium product and the better value product because this is $11, you get one, and this is 19 and you get three. Little bit of psychology there and it sure as hell works. So ideal for a big block of cheese, insulating quality, durable and beautiful. And in here we say all the leftovers are covered. Ideal for one block of cheese, all the leftovers are covered because we've got three here. Insulating quality, 365 days of use, durable and beautiful, three beautiful designs. The bottom two are kind of similar, but that first one is really upselling people to the premium product. I even did a subtle thing here because we read left to right. So we've got a nice V going down there. And then we have our pledge. We share 10% of our profits with the world's most effective charities, which is currently the Against Malaria Foundation, to better protect the planet and people we share it with. If we follow through here, we go to givewell.com. And right now, it's actually the Malaria Consortium that's recently been updated, but I have been donating to the second most effective charity in the world, Against Malaria Foundation. The other thing to note here, you might not be interested in, is the transparency. So if you want to go through here, you can see how much we've given already just from last month. Okay, then we have a little gallery image here. Take it easy. Rest assured that we're sourcing the best sustainable products because we love the damn planet. That's why. Another featured image and then eco-friendly and I have been certified no issue eco packaging alliance. 30 day satisfaction guarantee. We give back free shipping about $30. May you be happy. And this leads us to our second part of the video. We've all had our time on Facebook ads, but me, myself, I've been trying something new. I've been doing Instagram influencers. So right down here, all of these people I've been getting in touch with in order to sell my product. You can see here, hey, 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 and hey, these people aren't interested in um, doing anything or they, they maybe they will be in the future, but it kind of shows here a 50% reply rate and I've got all of these people involved in making content for me. I've also been emailing people because some people have their email up. This lady in particular, been having a great back and forth with her. She's been sending me some great voice messages, just helping me understand exactly how all of this works. And we locked it all in here, $60 for a story advertisement. And I really hope that that goes well. She's gonna make the own content. I thought this was a really cool idea. What's happening is basically I'm gonna send her a product and then she's gonna do an unboxing where she showcases my eco-friendly packaging and then she's gonna showcase the product being used in her kitchen. And that's like a really authentic, just like, oh wow, I just brought this product and then she tags my page in the story. If that goes well, I will upgrade to a permanent post. But for right now, I just want to start small with that 60. I sent this lady an email and we're just going to go for a story. And the same with this lady here, a story. And then with these guys, we're going to do a semi-permanent post. It's just a seven day post. And then they're going to take it down. This one's really good. I think uh, this one will be the winner because they have the most subscribers, 50,000 subscribers. I didn't want to go above 50K because obviously the engagement rate goes low. You always want to be hitting above 2% engagement rate on these follows. But if you guys are interested, I do have some Facebook copy to share with you. So let's have a look at some Facebook copy that I've just written. So the Facebook ad copy. Overloaded with plastic food wrap, ethically harvested beeswax wraps made from organic cotton and jojoba oil. These are the perfect choice to upgrade the kitchen. Reusable, lasting 500 times longer than plastic wrap. Biodegradable and eco-friendly and honey scented. Keeps food fresh. Your purchase protects the environment and keeps plastic out of the ocean. Shop today for 30% off free shipping. Okay, let's have a look at the second one. Want to protect the environment and save money. The best way to do that, buy on organic cotton bee wrap. A simple change in the kitchen for amazing results. Compostable and lasts 500 times longer than plastic wraps. Keeps food fresh and shapes to any kitchen container. Exhibit A, fair trade, ethically made, biodegradable, always. Shop now for a beautiful upgrade to your kitchen. So you can actually probably see already how much more engaging it is when I read it out to you. But as we are right now, Facebook mutes video ads and they don't have an audio service. So you've got to write copy like this to begin with. Maybe in the future I can make a podcast <laughs> with this beautiful microphone um, in order to hook people in. Um, but right now we've just got to write some copy. And then we have the Facebook ads right now. Just one ad set I wrote out for this product. Detailed targeting. Gordon Ramsay, Greenpeace, David Attenborough, Extinction Rebellion, engaged shoppers. Women 21 to 54, USA, Canada, New Zealand, UK, Australia. Don't steal my product. So we can peruse around the store here. We've got a contact page. We've got an about us. 
We have terms of service, refund policy, the legal. Yeah, contact us about us. Rewards and feedback, transparency, and an order tracking page. We had a live video this morning where people were wondering if they should get certified as a business. Always get certified as a business. Otherwise, you're going to get banned on Facebook. These things are real easy to do. Getting set up properly, getting a real page going, and getting an Instagram just really helps your chances. And as you've probably seen in previous videos, we have the Instagram page. Not pushing the product too much, just getting people involved with nature photography. So that is my store. I'm glad that you guys stuck around to the end. Hopefully that there was something in here that you learned. Okay, the sun has set behind me. That is another video. I hope that you guys learned something. I really appreciate that you're watching this channel. We just hit 5.5 thousand subscribers. Please, if you want to be another one of those, I would be grateful. Otherwise, if you want to see anything else, hit us in the comments below. And uh, as always, just good luck and have fun. Thanks for watching. See ya.